My name is uh, Philippe Carton. I'm the head of the National Control Center for ELIA, and ELIA is the transmission system operator in Belgium. Together with my team, I have to make sure that uh, the high voltage grid is uh, managed uh, in a secure way. And uh, what's also very important for, for ELIA, because it's part of our mission statement, is that we do everything in the interest of society. That means that, uh, for example, making efficient use of our infrastructure is part of our mission uh, and one of our goals. In 2008, uh, together with uh, Ampassimon, we, uh, we put in place the first prototype. And after three years, uh, we took the decision to uh, actually uh, make uh, real use of it uh, near the coast of Belgium uh, on our 150 kV uh, grid. So there we installed uh, Ampassimon because uh, it uh, allowed us to uh, connect faster, more wind farms uh, in the uh, coastal region. Uh, otherwise, we had to wait for investment. So that was uh, the first real use case. Uh, three years later, um, we also decided to install Ampassimon on uh, most important 380 kV lines. So you can see that uh, we have a long history uh, using Ampassimon and step by step, gradually, uh, we made more use of it. Making use of Ampassimon, of course, requires that you also integrate it in, in all your tools because uh, our system engineers in the control room have a lot of data that they have to digest and so they have to be able to also integrate the, the data coming from Ampassimon. So that's why uh, we decided from the beginning that we have to integrate it in existing tools. For example, in real time, the additional ampacity uh, that we can uh, measure with Ampassimon is directly uh, via service related into our SCADA system. There are two uh, big use cases uh, for ELIA using Ampassimon. First one is in real time. Um, near the coast, we have a lot of wind farms connected and without Ampassimon before, if there's congestions, the only solution is to reduce or to curtail it. Uh, in this case, once you install Ampassimon, um, there is uh, less uh, redispatching of the performance. It's very interesting to see that there's a, a correlation between Ampassimon and wind in feed. So the days when there's a lot of wind and higher congestion are also the days where there is, there is more ampacity uh, given thanks to Ampassimon. So this is the first very interesting use case which made our life easier, uh, mainly at the coastal uh, area in Belgium. And the second use case is that thanks to Ampassimon, we can also provide more capacity to the, the day ahead capacity calculation market. Uh, so there we talk about order of magnitude, 5 to maximum 9% of additional ampacity we can provide to the market coupling, which is uh, very interesting for the market coupling because uh, it will generate social welfare, again, in the interest uh, of the society. So uh, that's the second very interesting use case uh, for Ampassimo. Uh, what I really like about uh, Ampassimo technology, uh, certainly if you compare it with other technologies, is that it actually measures the sag of the line. So it, it's very reliable because other technologies might forecast or use algorithms, taking into account weather, solar radiation, things like that. But it's always an estimation, it's an algorithm. And Passimon really measures the sag of the line and it takes into account all parameters, even if you don't know it. Uh, so that's what I, what I really like about technology. It's, it's very reliable. You know that there is a measurement device and you know that you can trust on, on the measurement. That's very important for me. It's not just an algorithm. It's actually a physical device measuring the sag. If you look at the benefits for society or other market parties, it's clear that, for example, wind farms wanting to connect to the grid, they will get faster access to the grid if you make use of this kind of technology. I think it's a big benefit. Otherwise, they have to wait for investments, which takes very often five to 10 years time. So they can get quicker access to the grid. This is important. But also for other market players, if you look at the added value it generates for a market coupling, this is social welfare. This is a benefit of all consumers and producers. They are able to sell or buy more energy on the international markets, of course, under the condition that the Ampassimon has forecast additional capacity, but that's depending on the weather and things like that. It's also very clear interest for, uh, for society. I think it's fair to say that today we are more or less kind of in a revolution. Eh? If you look at the energy world, I think the technologies like Ampassimon, they are here to stay for sure because in the end, making efficient use of your infrastructure, it's a no-brainer. I think it's obvious that we cannot just continue to build additional lines. It's also very difficult from a public acceptance perspective. So I think before we can negotiate or ask public to accept additional lines, first and utmost, we have to prove that we are already making efficient use of what's already existing. So for me, these kind of technologies, it's, it's obvious we have to make use of it. And even in the future, we should even make more use of it, uh, that's for sure.